just got this controller here that was sent in for connectivity issues. My suspicion is that it's got some liquid damage going on underneath there, just based on what I can see here. But let's tear it apart together and uh, and find out. Step one, as always, is we're going to remove the battery compartment. A little sticky. Got some residue from something around here. I'm going to take these accessories and put them away for now so we don't lose them. I'll use my pry tool to take the faceplate up. And... That looks pretty clean so far, but I'm I'm guessing that some of these come out a little corroded. Oh, there's there are some liquid residue right there. I I have a feeling sometimes most of the time I would say when we get in these connectivity issue, power up issue uh, controllers, it's it's a liquid damage thing and not an impact damage thing. It doesn't change the repair too much except for the fact that it just consumes more repair parts. So every every controller repair just about needs to be torn down completely uh, in order for us to repair it. But these liquid damage ones, they're they're the worst by far. If you if you can keep your controller away from from liquid, from water in any way, definitely definitely do that. I see some corrosion right there. See, you can always tell. There's almost always a screw that kind of gives it away even before I've torn this controller all the way down. Now that we've got all those screws out, we can take the ring apart. And, yep, it's got some sort of liquid everywhere. This tracking sensor looks green. Take it down the rest of the way just to confirm. Well, so far it's pretty clean except for the tracking ring. Let's see what we got here. No corrosion on the battery compartment cable. That's a good sign. I'm not seeing any obvious corrosion on the ribbon connectors. That is stuck in there pretty good. Some are worse than others. Some just pop right out. I've not figured out the exact rhyme or reason to it, but some of them just like magically come out. Let's see how we're doing on this. No corrosion there. And we're clean. There's maybe a little bit of something there. I know there's gunk all over this controller because I can feel it on my fingers. All right, I repair these. My fingers get sticky. It's gross. Oh, yep. There we go. There it is. Most of the time, these ribbons are not too impacted by the liquid damage, but this certainly is. We're going to replace that motherboard and possibly the joystick, but definitely the board. It just looks awful. And then... And then the controller should be good to go. But I just wanted to show you all what that looks like and show you kind of, you know, when people say, oh, I'm, I'm having connectivity issues or my, my controller's not tracking properly. Most of the time, it's, it's not a hardware failure due to impact the way that you might think that it is. Most of the time, it's because sweat or liquid, you know, soda, water got into the controller and is now impacting it negatively. As always, if you have any questions or comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to us. We're, we're here to help. We'll see you on the next one.